today we're going to tie the hanging midge which is a great winter pattern for the Owyhee South Fork of the Boise and the Big Wood. Now to get started we're just going to take our watery olive thread and we're going to wrap that along the shank to about the midway point. We'll take our scissors and just clip out the ends. Next we're going to take our sulky metallic thread and tie that material in right there at the halfway point and we're just going to make nice even thread wraps all the way down to the curvature of the bend there. And then we'll just make even wraps back up towards that midpoint right there on the shank of the hook. Go ahead and take our scissors, clip out that tag piece, and now we're ready to take our whip finish and we're just going to finish out that watery olive thread. Take your scissors and clip out the tag end. Now at this point just take your hackle pliers, grab the end of that sulky metallic thread material and just make nice even wraps up through that abdomen uh, which is the watery olive thread. We're just going to go just beyond that halfway point and now we're ready to tie that off with our black A dot thread. As you can see here, just getting it started on the hook shank. Go ahead and take your scissor tips, snip out that tag end, and we're going to make a few wraps behind that sulky metallic thread just to bind it down. Okay, got the second wrap, make a couple wraps in front, and now we're ready to clip out that tag with our uh, scissor tips. Okay, at this point we're going to tie in our parachute post and we're going to hold that directly over the top of the hook shank and we're going to bind that down with about six to seven securing wraps. Once we have that taken care of, just take your thumb and your forefinger, put a little tension on that foam and snip it out with the uh, tips of your scissors. And what I like to do here is just make a few more wraps over that butt section just to cover it. Makes a nice even thread base to work from. Okay, at this point we're going to tie in our peacock material and uh, personally I like to tie them in by the tips so uh, we'll make about five to six wraps just to secure it down and now we're ready to add our grizzly saddle hackle and we want that to be about uh, size proportionate to the uh, size of the fly just tie that in by the stem and we're gonna make one peacock wrap behind that hackle and then we're gonna make forward wraps in front all the way up to that white parachute post and the goal here is just to cover that black thread once we've taken care of that, we're just going to uh, make a few securing wraps behind that peacock just to bind it down. Usually about three to four should be fine. And we'll clip out the uh, butt section with our scissor tips here. Okay, at this point we're just going to grab that grizzly hackle and we're going to begin making our forward wraps through the peacock. And as you can see here, there's kind of natural grooves. So um, your hackle is going to kind of grab certain sections. And uh, right here at about two and a half wraps, kind of even with that parachute post. We're going to make a few securing wraps just to bind it down. And then with our scissor tips, we're just going to snip out the butt section as closely as possible. Okay, now that we have that taken care of, we're just going to grab our whip finish. We're going to kind of pull that post back with our thumb and our forefinger. And we'll just finish that out. Pull out the loop, snug that up, and then just snip out the tag into that thread with our scissor tips. And at this point, what I like to do is just trim that post as you can see here, um, not too short, not too long. And we'll just finish the pattern out by adding a little bit of head cement just to make it a little bit more durable. Okay, now we have our final product, the hanging midge. And uh, as we mentioned, this is a great pattern for the South Fork of the Boise, the Owyhee, the Big Wood, and pretty much any area stream that you fish throughout the winter months.